Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 5th, 2024, Election Day. Likely going to be a very interesting day as we wait for this evening's results. I want to apologize here, guys. This is the third attempt to get the video out. Um, we're having some kind of a power fluctuation going on here, and so I'll, I'll be working along, and then the power goes out for just a little bit, and then it comes back on, and then it goes out again. So this is my third attempt. It's going to be a late video, so I am going to make this one brief. First off, if we take a look at Asian markets, Asian markets were mostly up last night with some nice moves. The Hong Kong uh, market was up 439 points, 2.14%. Uh, Nikkei was up very strongly, 421 points, up 1.1%. If we look at European markets this morning, they are modestly green this morning, and I mean modestly, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, and 0 0.7 on the DAX footsie and the CAC. And U.S. futures are also trying to push up into the green with a little bit more bullishness. Diamonds up 61 points, um, S&P 500 up 13 and a half, and NASDAQ futures 79 and a quarter here this morning. If we take a look at um, oil markets here this morning, um, oil um, continuing to try and move just a little bit higher as um, we wait on the election, but we'd heard from OPEC that they were going to restrict supplies and not, not um, increase their supplies. So we've got a little bit higher there. The natural gas is just a little bit lower. Gold futures this morning, if we take a look at those precious metals, gold futures are moving up. We're at $5.20 an ounce. Moving on higher here, um, silver is up, copper, platinum, and palladium all a little bit higher here this morning if we take a look at the u.s dollar u.s dollar trying to move just a tiny little bit lower here this morning these two lines right here showing us the pre-market so somewhere right in here is where it's looking to open at least at the moment and one of the reasons that might be the case is well we're still seeing some bond um, action in here maybe creating some pressures uh, the two-year bond is at 4.18 this morning we're at 431 on the two on the tens and the 30 year is at 4.49 so we're still getting this fluctuation and uncertainty here in the market and then if we take a look at crypto this morning um crypto having a little bit better day um than yesterday down um um, quite a bit yesterday, this morning, up $1,275 a coin. Ether is up as well, $1,688 a coin. So keep an eye on that. We may actually be coming into a little bit of an upside trend support area here, although we have given up this price action support right in here. So watch that close. Let's take a look at, uh, well, I guess that's it. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. And let's get ready for the Tuesday edition, Election Day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Apologize, I'm kind of running through things quickly here this morning, but let's take a look at these um, markets. Um, diamonds, diamonds, as you can see, coming into a little bit of price support right in here yesterday. Saw those bears uh, get a little bit active, just pushed down there for a bit. We did rally at the end of the day, and you can see we're still trapped underneath this downtrend. So if the bulls can find inspiration today, we need to see that inspiration maybe pushes up through this a little bit of a resistance area right there see if we can get through that uh, downtrend area of the chart and then maybe we can push just a little bit higher and come up here into that area of resistance of the chart and that's a pretty solid resistance in here that we'll want to be watching for here on the day watch that carefully we're going to need something special and 
um, maybe that something special could come tomorrow in that earnings, or excuse me, election to try and move us to the upside. But you can see pushing up through there would be a pretty substantial reversal in the chart. Now on the bearish side of things, if those bears are gonna get going, certainly wouldn't be all that difficult to see that possibility. If we fail this price support right in here, well, that would be a little bit of pain maybe coming into the market. Breaking down, a retest of here and a bounce, no problem. Breaking down through here would probably raise some concern in that possibility that we could start moving on down. There's a little bit of um, support right there in between um, those levels that I've got drawn in here, but then I think that possibility that we come on down into here. Remembering that if we were to do that, we give up this 50-day moving average, that failure of the 50-day yesterday raising a little bit of concern, but if we were to really start breaking down through some of those lows, that would really um, likely bring in a little bit of panic. And um, certainly we have a catalyst for that potential here um, today and maybe tomorrow morning on those election results. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY also just kind of running sideways here in this move. A little bit of price support here. We tested down there yesterday, actually made a new low but bounced up off of there. So if those bulls can find inspiration here today, then we need to see that push back up here. Can we get through this little area right here, push back up, test that resistance in the chart? You can see there's that price resistance. And even though we get through there, we're gonna have to maybe get back up above that big black candle to see whether or not we can fill this gap up here and start moving up toward this downtrend. If the bears, however, find that inspiration, you can see it wouldn't be all that hard to anticipate the possibility that we could test this and if we test it and hold no problem but if we test that and fail I'm suggesting we come on down to test this area of the chart down here and you can see this is a really strong area multi um, uh, touches in this area that would be a pretty star strong area and a potential bounce could occur there but if we were to fail there and push on down, watch for a little bit of fear to come up in the market. And remember that would constitute a failure of the 50 day moving average. And our QQQ very much the same, just kind of drifting along sideways here in that chart. Now, one of the advantages that we have here and the cues that we don't have on the SPY or IWM is that possibility of a lower high or that downtrend. But we could form that here if the bears were to find inspiration here and we were to push down below this low, that might actually create that lower high here in the chart and give us that potential downtrend. And if that were to occur, we've got a pretty good support right in here to hold. Um, it, it would only be if that area broke where we would likely raise some fear or concern in the market. Now, on the other hand, if those bulls find inspiration here today, we need to break back through this level of price resistance in here, and then we can start pushing back up through some of these levels in here to see if we can break back to this area of resistance. Now, remember, even as we rally up, because we broke the support right here, because that support has been broken, we run that potential. Even in any rally back up, we'll have to watch that carefully of a failure at the next resistance level and that lower high comes in. So we'll wanna watch that closely. What's going to have to happen since we broke the support is we need to see some proof that we can break back through up here, hold, and then maybe attack those all-time highs here in the NASDAQ. Or, of course, the big gap up on election that could move us right up and really get those bulls going. It could certainly happen that way. And then, of course, if we look at our IWM, old IWM in here, um, still trying to break back through this resistance. It was the, the strongest of the day yesterday, as we saw the rest of the indexes showing weakness, tried to move up, but really at the end of the day, couldn't get her done. We still have that potential that we're running into a little bit of a downtrend here, and it'll be particularly prevalent if we were to break this low, if the bears have anything to say, 
push this down and break through this low, then we come down into this upside trend to see if we can hold. Breaking down through there, I think, is where a little bit of fear would come into the market. Now, if those bulls can find that inspiration here, we need to attack this resistance right in here. We kind of got that double whammy of attack here. We've got that price resistance and downtrend in here that we might have to try and work our way through. And if we can, then we have that potential. We can stretch right on up back up here to test this resistance in the chart. So keep an eye on that. Now, by and large, I kind of expect um, a lot of choppiness here today with the uncertainty, um, all of the hand wringing that's going on about the election could make for a light choppy day. Of course, we have quite a few things going on here. Uh, also with an FOMC and things like that coming up. Now, if we take a look right in here, we still have that concern of that higher low in the VIX. And you can see yesterday, we did kind of pop up in here um, trying to get something going, but nothing major um, in that move to the upside. So watch that carefully as we continue to try and test and hold in this area. If those bulls were to find inspiration, we need to see that break back down, test this upside trend starting to happen, and then maybe come on down into some price support. If that could occur, we might relieve some of that tension. On the other hand, if those bears were to find inspiration here today and we start pushing up, then that could increase the fear. And with all the uncertainty that we've got going into this election, either one of those is certainly possible. Let's take a look at our T20s. Our T2122, as you can see right in here, T2122 made just a barely um, little move to the upside yesterday, trying to get something going off of this bottom. If the bulls can find inspiration today, we certainly have the upside room here for them to really get something going here if they can find that inspiration. But at the same time, we still have some downside opportunity here for the bears. And I'll be honest, the T20s were a little bit confusing um, yesterday. And I'll show you what I mean here, um, where we had the Diamond Spy and QQQ essentially lower on the day. And, and yet we still had a little bit of a turn up here. And I think that was really largely due to the Russell 2000 uh, had more green in it than down and gave that just a little bit of turn to the upside. Our T2108, as you can see, our T2108 was essentially flat, just a barely little turn up here on the day. 39% um, of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, not exactly a bullish case for the market. Um, we'll wanna watch this closely. We've got a support level right in here that we could hold and then push back up and then maybe we can break back through that 40% area, come back up in here, start testing some of these areas of the chart back up toward that psychological 50% area here of T2108. And then T2107, same situation here. We didn't have, um, if I can type and talk at the same time, it would help. But um, T2107 um, didn't have a whole lot of activity here in that. Just a teeny tiny turn up here. You can see we're still holding up here above the 50%. So if the bears were to find inspiration, maybe a push down in there could test that 50%. But if those bulls can continue to show that push that we've got going on in the pre-market, maybe we can start coming up, testing some of these resistance levels in the chart on T2107. And then T2101 was also very interesting yesterday. It actually turned up, which means on the uh, with the majority of the indexes selling that means that we had a little breadth increase on the bearish side of things and we'll want to watch that pretty close closely here if those bears are to are going to start gaining a little bit of of encouragement here to the uh, um, to that move that's where things can get kind of ugly here in the market. Bulls are trying to put that off here this morning with that pre-market bump, but watch that closely. Now let's take a quick look 
um, at um, our economic calendar. And our economic calendar, not so busy today, but a few things to pay attention to. We've got an international trading goods number. They're looking at that to come in at a negative 83.9 up from a negative 70.4. We've largely ignored these trade deficit numbers anyway, and um, um, uh, this international trade number, we've ignored it anyway, so may not make um, any difference, although it is a concern. And then we've got our ISM services. They're looking for that to contract a little bit back to 53.5 from 54.9. Now, if that were to occur and stays above 50%, we're still showing that expansion in the services area. So not a major concern um, on that pullback. But if it were to drop below 50%, um, I, we might get a little market reaction out of that if that were to occur. Then if we take a look, we've got uh, treasury buyback stuff going on in here, some bond auctions, and then the 10-year bond auction, which would certainly be something to pay attention to with what we're seeing in these bond yields this morning, continuing to run up right now. The 10-year is at 4.32%. So we're moving higher in those bonds this morning on that concern. So. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar and because I'm not able to do the morning blog I just took a screenshot here of the calendar um, these are your notable reports for today we've got things in here like uh, AMR, FUBAR, ExxonMobil is going to be in here, PPL um, so kind of keep an eye on that if you guys um, wait a second Guys, I'm sorry. This is completely messed up. So here again, uh, my power outage causing problems here. This is not the earnings report for today. We have already seen those earnings. So I apologize. You're going to have to go look for those earnings reports um, for yourself. Um, um, we have heard from Yum Brands here today, and they have disappointed, so kind of keep an eye on that. But we do have um, um, a, a substantial number of reports, but none of them are the ones that I would consider to be you know, major market moving reports. So I apologize for that today. Um, um, I Apparently the internet blink reverted back to another um, list so forgive me for that let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that everyone if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube also click that bell icon when it pops up and if you could do me that favor leave that brief comment click that thumbs up button that helps the channel to grow Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a look at a few of these here this morning. Um, things that I'm kind of paying attention to. Of course, um, you guys know that I am holding um, actual physical gold, but you can see in here gold continues to run in this beautiful upside trend. This little pullback consolidation coming in here could set up that next opportunity with a little bit of fear coming up in the market as we see those bonds rise. Watch this carefully for that opportunity that that could start to push on through to the upside. I would watch that one pretty closely. Um, silver, not so much. Looking here at silver, we did pull back pretty substantially. We're catching this price support, but you do have to recognize the fact that we did break that support level there. We have trend in our favor here as well, but if we can get a little bullish action, about the only thing I could see is coming right back up into that resistance. We'll need to recover and hold before we get that opportunity to maybe move on higher. So watch that closely. So a little bit of uncertainty in that, but take a look at PHYS if you want to um, actually hold a physical gold ETF. Um, this is a beautiful upside trend, still looking great in that opportunity that could turn 
and go right on higher here. So watch carefully on that. You might want to take a look at TLT. Now TLT, um, as bond yields go up, bonds go down. What's interesting here in TLT is we had a really big pop yesterday in TLT. And this is not ready for prime time in any way, shape or form. But one of the things that I would suggest is the election could really change this. So be prepared for that possibility that TLT, if things go favorable uh, for the market or something, that maybe we get those bond yields to fall dramatically and TLT then pops on through this resistance and downtrend. And then maybe those bonds can start easing up and we might see TLT catch a good bid and run to the upside. So watch carefully there on TLT. You might also want to be keeping a close eye on things. Um, I mentioned this to folks in RWO yesterday. This is a massive area of price support in soybeans. And I don't think this is ready for prime time yet. But you can see this big area of price support here in the chart. We've got this shorter term price support hanging on that area. Clearly this is still in an overall downtrend, but there's that little W formation coming in here on this chart. If we can pop up through here, watch for that opportunity that at least we can move up into this downtrend on soybeans worth keeping an eye on that for a potential trade. And I do think it's going to have to have some easing um, going on in the dollar and these bond yields for that to really take off. But watch that closely. Let's take a look at a few other things in here. Yesterday I mentioned AMD and um, AMD as a possible short, but it, it didn't bounce back up at all. It just kept falling. So as you can see, AMD continuing to decrease here in the chart. Next target I think is down in here. If it does happen to get any kind of lift back to the upside, after breaking down through this support, any rally back up, I would be watching for that next opportunity for that potential short here in the chart. So keep an eye on that. Several of the semiconductors that reported yesterday moved lower um, on their earnings report. So watch that carefully. We do have a little bit of uncertainty coming in to the whole AI um, space here in the market. Uh, Microsoft, Microsoft continuing to show softness here yesterday. We pushed down into this price support, just kind of slipped below it. And you can see we're really not gaining any ground. If this stays below this area of resistance right there, if this stays below and just rests out toward here, I would be watching for that opportunity that Microsoft could turn lower. So keep an eye on that. You do want to make note that we are underneath the 50 day and 200 day here in that uh, chart. And if that 50 um, continues that crossover down here, that's what we call the death cross. And um, we could see Microsoft continuing to sell off to the downside. So watch that pretty carefully. Um, Apple itself is doing the same kind of pattern where we created that little lower high, broke through support here. You can see we've slipped beyond this support just a tiny little bit. We're trying to hold. So any rally back up into this downtrend or consolidation over toward that trend sets up that next opportunity for a down move. Keep an eye on that um, if we get some bearishness coming in after this election. You don't know, um, it could be all bullish. And in that case, if we're gonna be good and bullish, we might wanna start keeping an eye on some of these um, oil stocks that are holding bullish trends um, despite all of the major selling. And there's not many of these in the oil sector, but take a look at EQT. I mentioned this one yesterday, nice little pop there on EQT. If it can break back through that resistance, remember we've got um, still have the Middle Eastern crisis 
out there. We're still waiting on um, Iran, who is planning an attack um, against Israel. So watch this carefully. If this were to push on through, maybe we rest a little bit and then push on through, but watch carefully here on some of these oil and gas companies could be setting up for some upside move even though we do have a lot of companies like exxon Mobil, things like that that are not looking that great yet they had a good inside day we're going to need a lot more work to break through some resistance here on some of these to turn them around into bullish charts so keep a close eye on that uh, keep an eye on cpng cpng is going to be reporting today watch that carefully here we've got this little uh, consolidation in here that possibility that this could turn pretty quickly and move up um, some opportunities may be setting up there keep an eye on that so with that everyone hey um, I'm gonna cut this video short so I have a chance of getting it out before it's too late I want to wish you guys all the very best thanks for putting up with my power situation here and thank you to the power gods out there that kept it on this time um, I want to wish you all the very best remember this election could create a lot of volatility so plan your risk carefully we have seen during elections during election night we we have seen massive moves in the futures happen before and we could easily see that same situation today so watch that carefully we could have a big gap up or a big gap down tomorrow depending on how the market feels about the results so y'all take care be safe and i'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning take care everyone